This is NVIDIA on the five minute time frame. I'm going to give you price targets for Monday. We ended the week at $131.88, up 1.75%. To the north side from where we are takes us to resistance and the middle of the trend and the baseline and a potential take profit area at 133.32. Above that, at another level of resistance, 135.67, 136.78. And 137.97. I do not anticipate we hit this line on Monday. And if we do, you can bet that there will be a potential sell off if that happens. Now, to the south side, VWAP takes us to 131.20 in the blue. And negative two standard deviations takes us to roughly 130.95. Negative three standard deviations and another potential buy-in area support 129.86 and another level of support lines up with a gap that begins at roughly 128.47. That gap fills to the south side at 125.74 and there are plenty of other landmines to the south side to watch out for because we have gapped up and gone up so much with NVIDIA. And I will show you just looking left here all the spots the line here support bounce support bounce support bounce didn't quite get there started to bounce anyway and sell off that resistance 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 and then obviously obviously people buy back in at support <coughs> excuse me Next one, the next one I want to go over is Adobe. That was the winner for Friday for sure. And we ended the week at five, oh, let me mark this out, 525.31, 525, let me just, 31. VWAP takes us to 525.79 and above that at two standard deviations and resistance and another potential take profit area 552.60, 572.01, to the south side at the middle of the trend and the baseline 514.67. This is where I anticipate price to grind. And below that, 476.58. The gap closes to the south side at 460, 16, 457, what was it, 457, 29-ish, and 438.56. It's been a while since I've taken a look at Adobe. So it looks like the last time I looked at it was back in 23. Look at this, a bounce off support on the daily. The different time frames give you, gives you different buy and sell signals. Here, the middle of the trend, we grinded along the line and then made our way back up and then obviously up and down, up and down. Sell off, sell off, and now back at support and then a rip up, how convenient. And then the next target will be 568.88 to the north side and to the south side, that gap and 428.38. Volume 14.85 million, normally 3.6 million. The target is 611.20, which represents in another 16% return from where we are. We already went up 14%, so that's pretty amazing. Now, the next one I wanna go over very quickly. Oops, not one. I like to look at the loser that I have 230 stocks here and that is Parker Hannafin Corporation electronic technology electronic equipment instruments all right what is happening here we are at the middle of the trend 
to the north side takes us to a gap beginning at 5 16 28 5 23 35 ish closing out at 5 27 90 another gap lines up at oops three standard deviations 532.52 and 542.23 to the south side 485.17 475.15 and roughly 465.67 and have I looked at this one in the past I have mm, <coughs> not done a chart for it I should say I mean I've looked at it nice slow grind upward and the one-year price target is 631.50 a 25% return from where we are so that is a look at pH Adobe and Nvidia have a great trading week